Hey guys, it's me, Troy Dellinger, and tonight I'm going to be doing a Mother's Day edition uh, for my YouTube channel, Christian Studio Productions. And uh, I plan for this video to be going on all three of my channels. Um, it, like I said, it's a special edition for uh, Mother's Day. We got Mother's Day coming up, and I'm going to uh, be looking at a few scriptures that talk about mothers and, uh, and share about uh, my personal stories with uh, my mom as well. Um, so, um, I guess I'll just go ahead and get right into the scriptures here. I'm going to start here in Exodus 20, verse 12. Uh, we know that honoring our father and mother is uh, one of the Ten Commandments, so it's very important. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. So, our parents, our mother, and our dad are the ones that... Uh, brought us here on this earth, and our mothers are the ones that uh, gave uh, birth to us. They're a very important figure in our lives, and uh, we're, we're to have respect for them, and we're, we're to honor them. So, the big question that I have for you is, are you a problem child? Uh, because if you are, then you are in sin. Uh, if you're uh, disobeying uh, your parents, and you're being a uh, problem child, uh, and you're uh, being a delinquent and uh, maybe you're a rebellious teen and you like to sneak out at night and you uh, like to do a lot of things that go against what your mother says uh, well the Bible says that you're sinning and, uh, the, and, and not only are you sinning you're uh, committing a very big sin because you're breaking uh, the Ten Commandments and, uh, and, and you've, you won't inherit the kingdom of God if you don't repent you'll go to hell um, Let's look at, I'm going to look at some more scriptures here in Proverbs uh, 10, 1. The Proverbs of Solomon. A wise son maketh a glad father, but a foolish son is the heaviness of his mother. So if you uh, are a burden on your mom and you cause her grief, uh, well, the Bible says that you're sinning. Uh, the Bible says that you're a foolish son. Um, so the, the Bible gives very clear warnings and rebukes against it. Um, I'm going to also take a look here at Romans chapter 1. So in Romans 1, I'm going to look here and start here in verse 30. Now this is talking about the list of sins of uh, people that are uh, are in rebellion towards God's will. And uh, I'm going to start here, and like I said in verse 30, Backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing, the judgment of God that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only the same but have pleasure in them that do them. So the Bible says that if you're uh, rebellious towards your parents, that you're worthy of death. Uh, as a matter of fact, in the law of Moses back in the Torah, uh, this uh, this was punishable by death uh, according to Mosaic law. Um, so God sees this as a very uh, serious sin, and, and it causes spiritual death, and it. Uh, can lead you down a long destructive road and ultimately it will lead you to uh, hell um, if you uh, are a rebellious son against your uh, mother or your father um, so uh, I'm going to uh, also uh, just see the foundation of uh, what mothers are we, we, we read about mothers and we go back to uh, Genesis uh, 316 Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception, and sorrow shall thou bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. So, uh, back in Genesis, we know that mothers, uh, uh, the um, birth pangs, they, it comes from the curse, uh, back from when Adam and Eve uh, sinned. So, um, so, that's why he said, in sorrow... Uh, there will be labor, um, and this is God speaking to Eve after uh, the sin. And we know that Eve was the mother of all living. Uh, one of the most important mothers mentioned in the Bible because she's the one that uh, gave birth to uh, the human race. We are all her descendants. Um, so, um, now for me personally, um, uh, I uh, love my mother, and uh, we don't see eye to eye on a lot of things. We have uh, very big 
uh, disagreements. And uh, we definitely have had our family issues, um, especially of late, as of late. Uh, but I love my mother, and, uh, you know, I respect my mother. And uh, I honor her uh, because I, I recognize that she's the one that uh, gave uh, birth to me and brought me into this world despite our many uh, disagreements. And I'm, and I'm appreciative of that for her. And, and I consider it a blessing for her to be my mother uh, despite our disagreements. Uh, now, when I was a child, um, back when I was a young kid and also uh, a teenager, uh, I was very disrespectful to my mother. I would, uh, you know, cuss her out and call her uh, disrespectful names. And I was just doing uh, foolish things. You know, I didn't have respect for authority. And I didn't have respect for uh, people uh, telling me what to do. That's just the way that I was when I was uh, not saved and I was lost and I was in the world. Uh, I was actually sneaking out at night and, uh, you know, riding a bike downtown with my friends. And we were going to meet uh, girls and women. And uh, we were just doing wicked things, stuff that we shouldn't have. And I was also doing drugs and all that kind of stuff, which was against what my mother told me to do. And, uh, and, and, and I never listened to what she would tell me to do. And I was just uh, very rebellious. And, uh, and, I, and I had no respect for my mother. And, uh, and, I, and I was what you would call a problem child. And I was always making my mother mad. I would always... Uh, you know, do stupid pranks to her while she was uh, sleeping, and I always make her very, very uh, angry and displeased with me. And uh, I was a foolish son, what the Proverbs would call a, a foolish son. But, you know, ever since I uh, started to read the Bible and uh, read what Scripture said, I, I took uh, the Ten Commandments very seriously, and I, and I started to honor my mother, and I did what she told me to do. And, uh, you know, I would make her grilled cheese and... Uh, I would cook for the family, and I would every everything she told me to do. I would uh, do the best I could to do it, and I did do it. Uh, and uh, I was, um, I always honored my mother ever since I became a Christian because that's just uh, what I believe in now. I, I believe in uh, honoring and uh, respecting uh, your mother because that's my duty as a Christian. That's th that's everybody's duty. Um, because you're to have respect for your mother because your mother uh, gave birth to you and gave you life. Um, my mother uh, was hardworking. She uh, used to have a job that she had for 20 years before she resigned. And uh, she would always take care of me and support me. And, uh, you know, never left me hungry. I always had a roof over my head. I was, she always fed me and uh, took care of me. And... Uh, she was also uh, uh, strict in a good way, not overly strict, not underly strict, but just about right. Uh, she made sure that um, I was always uh, trying, doing the best she could that I stayed out of trouble. Trying to, she never allowed me to do drugs or getting substances and smoking and any of that kind of stuff. Uh, she, there, uh, I she could have been more strict on my spiritual needs because I felt like uh, some of my spiritual needs weren't always there uh, being cared for but my physical needs uh, they were always there she was always um, like I said just supporting me and uh, raising me in a, the, uh, the way that she was supposed to um, and, I, and she would give me discipline when I did wrong and that's the way every mother should be um, uh, a good mother disciplines their kid and she did discipline me and she and she always put her foot down and she wouldn't let me do certain things for boundaries, for my protection, and, and that's what a good mother does. Uh, that's the way every mother should be. Um, so there, so I also want to mention uh, briefly some great mothers that are in the Bible. Uh, I, I mentioned these women because they're they're used in the Bible as an example uh, as, of being a good parent and a good mother. So if you're a mother or a parent out there, you can learn uh, lessons. Now, not all of them are necessarily per se uh good mothers but they um but they're very important mothers like i said eve even though she had her sin in the bible she was very important because she gave uh, life uh to all humanity so i i did mention her in this list um but we got we got also uh, great women of god we got uh mary the mother of our lord jesus christ and uh and by the way i did not say mother of god because that's a catholic term I'm not Catholic. I don't believe in worshiping uh, Mary, 
um, but she is an example of, of a great uh, godly righteous woman uh, along with uh, there's others like Sarah the uh, wife of uh, Abraham who was the mother of the descendants of Israel and there is also uh, women and mothers mentioned like Rebecca um, in the Bible and we know the mothers in Exodus uh, were also righteous women they protected their children when the Pharaoh commanded uh, the the children to some of the children to be killed um, and they protected them and along with uh, Moses's mother who looked out for him and, th and these are an example of great mothers who didn't kill their children and uh, a lot of mothers they can learn from them um, but I also now that I've uh, said all this I also have to give a warning against uh, mother idolatry now we are to love our mothers uh, we are to respect our mothers and honor our mothers uh, but we do not worship our mothers. Um, so if you have a mother in your life and she's getting in the way with your uh, walk with God, then that's an issue because our mothers, they're never meant to be before God. God comes before everything. God comes before our mothers and our uh, dads and our uh, families. Um, uh, we, we should love our mothers, but we're never to put our mothers before God. And so we just got to be careful that our mother is not an idol. We should love Jesus more than our mothers. Uh, I'm going to read a scripture here in Matthew 10. 10 verse uh, 34 through 39. And this is Jesus speaking here in verse uh, 34 of chapter 10 of, Math of Matthew. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall they be of his own household. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth not loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. So Jesus is very clear uh, that nothing is to come before him. Uh, sometimes following uh, the Lord Jesus Christ can cause conflict with family, such as mother or dad or other relatives, uh, if they're not saved, um, because that's just natural. Um, and it can cause persecution in some cases, and I know that it has for me uh, in my personal life. Um, so, um, so there's some things that we can learn out of that. We are to love Jesus more than uh, our mom and dad, and just it also says we're supposed we're also uh, to uh, you know if you're a mother or a dad to love God more than your children. So I not only do uh, I love God more than my mom, I also expect my mom to uh, love God more than me. Uh, as a matter of fact, if my mom came up to me and said uh, that she loved me more than God, I would rebuke her. I would say, uh, that's wicked, you know, because that's idolatry, because God's the one that uh, gave us all life. God's the one that uh, came down and died on the cross for us. And uh, God is, is who we worship, and we don't worship anybody else. Um, so, um, so, like I said, God has to come before everything, and sometimes uh, there can be variance. Um, uh, sometimes that, you know... Uh, like I said, it can cause conflict and, and persecution. Um, we are to honor our parents, but as long as they don't tell us to sin or, or do anything against God's will. Um, and like I said, this has there has been instances like this that have happened in my family where I've, I, I have had uh, persecution in my family for my faith because uh, most of my family uh, has disagreements with my beliefs. And uh, so I have to deal with that. And sometimes it can cause persecution. And... Uh, and it, it can cause uh, family issues. <clears throat> but I do thank God for my mother. Um, so if you're a believer, I would appreciate if you could keep uh, prayer for my um, mother, uh, for her salvation, and also for personal health issues going on. She had uh, high blood pressure the other day. And we're just having a few family issues that uh, I would appreciate that you could keep in prayer on. And uh, so that's all about I got for... Uh, this edition and uh, happy Mother's Day to everyone and uh, those who have mo those who have mothers and uh, to all the mothers out there, um, and uh, we thank and appreciate uh, what what mothers do for our 
uh, for the world and for our community. Um, so if you uh, have mothers out there, uh, please uh, get her a Mother's Day card or a gift or uh, just love your mother and uh, respect her and honor her. And if you're a kid, honor your mother and uh, and and just do what they say and be a, be a good kid. Uh, that's that's the only, the, one of my main messages that I have that I'd like to say. Um, so, so that's all I got. Thanks for watching.